at the Bracket Room Sports Lounge and Eatery. So hungry. Focus. I got the juicy cheeseburger and fries. What'd you get again? Same thing. Cheeseburger fries. Oh, okay. What you gonna say? <sighs> I'm ready to get on the plane. Ready to make that trip. And I'm ready not. to be in our room. We have so much time to go before we're gonna be in the room. That's why I'm ready for it now. So much time. See if I have my thing, then I can. I have my. I have actually have my tripod, but not because it became like this. I guess that's why they get vlogging cameras lighter. Well, I have the tripod, but the only thing is, since we're sitting across from each other, we both can't see each other. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So we made it to the Abu Dhabi airport and we have a while that we're going to be here until we can get on the second plane to take us to our destination. The flight wasn't actually that bad. I mean it was long but it wasn't bad at all. They had really good movies on there and I think I slept. I didn't really sleep much but I think I did. Rocky correction. He just jumping. Oh, we took the day care. Um, I wanted to tell them something earlier that I couldn't think of. Oh, no. I can't think. That's a problem. I don't remember. Yes, yeah, so now we're at where this place O'Leary's Bar and Restaurant in Abu Dhabi Airport. I'm gonna have a drink or two, and I think I'm gonna get some wings. Or do I want nachos? Not nachos. I'm just getting a drink because my stomach is a little unsettled. He ate the, uh, the breakfast that they gave us on the plane. I was expecting a real like nice breakfast. We got a turkey. Turkey sandwich. A turkey sandwich? Long, Did it have like an egg on it? Sabata bread. It was just turkey and cheese and bread, right? It was something else in it. Mayo maybe? For breakfast? Oh. I'm glad I didn't take a bite. I looked at it and I was like, well I saw the dude next to me eating his, I was like, nope, I'm not eating that. I really did not eat anything on the flight. I had um, some kind of chicken and a little bit, a little bit of that chicken, some mashed potatoes. I think that was mashed potatoes. I have no idea. Did you wash that down with coffee? I was going back and forth with coffee and water. The coffee was nasty. Mashed potatoes and coffee. And broccoli. I cannot believe that we were on that flight for that long. That's the longest I've ever been on a plane. It honestly wasn't that bad, though. It really wasn't. We're still here, waiting to board. It's now 11.40. 45 minutes to go. I'm so tired. My phone is on 24%. Our plane is here. We're just waiting to board. We can board at 1220. Takeoff is at 155. 120. 120. 120. AM. So I hope that I can sleep on the plane. I'm so tired. But yeah, we're still here. Just doing nothing. Just sitting. I'll check back in once we get to our destination.
we finally touched down at our destination, but we still have one more plane that we have to get on. Um, this is a 45 minute plane. Quick. And then once we get off that 45 minute plane, then we have to get on a speedboat, which will finally take us to our resort. It's been a long day, night, everything. Day, day and a half, two days, I don't know. But it's, it's been a journey. And we're this close to laying our head on that nice bed. And when we got to the airport, we just assumed that the other plane would be ready for us, but the guy was like, no, that plane doesn't come till what, 11.30. Told us it was bad news. Yeah, that scared me when he said it was bad news, but they basically took us down like in the bottom of it. But this is not considered the airport. This is like a... This is we still literally part of, walked here from the airport. This is still part of the airport, I think. We walked here. I mean, it's like the, we I guess it's like the, the, it's like the docks. Cause there's a bunch of docks here. We're at the docking area, but what basically gave us free breakfast and free water. And just to sit and wait until it's time for us to go catch our other plane. Which is in like 30 minutes. <sighs> I just want to take a shower, get out of these clothes. I feel like I've had these clothes on for days. Days. But in reality, it hasn't been days. It's just a time difference. It's been... Maybe one day. It's, it's over. Been it's, day. it's been over a day at this point, I think. Yeah, because it's... Without it's, time difference. No, because it's 12, over, past 12 back home. It's like 1 o'clock back home. Yeah. And we've had yeah. these on since... Friday. Since Friday at 4 o'clock. And it is Sunday, almost 1 o'clock back home. So we've had these goes on for a while. I'm ready to get out of these clothes. I feel so, it's very humid out here. So I'm a little sticky. But it's a nice breeze. It is a nice breeze. All I know is that both of us got sick. Crazy stomach issues, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it was so bad, but I'm feeling so much better now. Thank God, because I thought I was gonna throw up. My stomach was hurting so bad make good use of the bidets out here. Yeah. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock. Should we go wait for him? Alright, so we're about to go ahead and cut this off. We're going to go back inside so that we don't miss our guy that's going to take us to where we need to go. So, hopefully the next time he see us, we will finally be at the reserve. Well, I'll, I'll film us getting on the small plane and the speedboat, but... I want to be in different clothes the next time you see us. Clean clothes. No different clothes. Clean clothes. A clean yeah. body. Showered with a bathing suit on. Okay. Getting in the water. I hope it's not a bunch of mess just to check in. I hate checking in at places. Sometimes they do the most. I feel like Rio was pretty quick. Check in stresses me out. Alright, guys. See you guys later.
so we made it to our destination as you guys already seen took a nice shower we ate lunch and now we're waiting on our drinks in paradise it is so nice out there can't it's so hot and it's so crazy because we came during like the off season the monsoon season which is crazy and the whole time we're here it's not gonna rain it's not gonna rain until the day we leave or the day after we leave here and it's beautiful sun blue skies nice breeze it's amazing i can't believe we're gonna be here for six nights that's crazy six whole nights have a blast we're waiting on our drinks to come it's taking a while actually hopefully he knows where we are I think our drinks are finally coming. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you don't have a bingo. So strong. So strong. Stronger than Mexico. I don't remember what I drink in Mexico. Margaritas. Margaritas? That's all I drink. Mm -hmm. Oh, that tastes good. Yeah. No, those drinks are sweet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, stronger. What did you drink, Jack? Yeah. What did you drink, Jack? Yeah. These are definitely stronger. Okay. Oh, yeah. I got a Jameson and Sprite because they didn't have ginger ale. Is it good? You want to? Okay. Ready, amigo, amiga? Ready. Wow. 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 But we can't go to sleep. We have to make sure that we stay up until it's nighttime here so that our body is on track. Because we go, to, I know if I go to sleep, I'm gonna sleep for mad long. Especially in a bed, we were sleeping on a plane. You got three hours until the sunset. Dinner's at seven. I don't know if I'm making till seven, Chief. Yeah, you are. do that yeah. why I don't know rip off however they do stock our little refrigerator with water sodas and beer some beer called Carl Carlsberg never heard of it from Copenhagen that's where it's from yep Ugh. all right wow <laughs> beer stinks here's our bed every day when they make up our bed they give us something a little cute so I think from this way, is it supposed to be like a turkey? I think so. Something like that. Something cute. Maybe a peacock. This is our bed. Um, this is our desk where we have done nothing. Absolutely nothing. And then, this is our view from our room. And let's go ahead and go outside. Lead us outside. So, we start here. This is our outdoor bathtub. We haven't gotten it yet, but I'm very weird about taking baths. Uh oh. I'm weird about taking baths to other places. 
So hopefully I can get in there, but it kind of like creeps me out taking baths other places. Let's get our money's worth. Um, here's our little lounge chairs. Right here. We have a little bed. We can get on and relax. This is where I've been most of the time because it's so comfy. And then if you go this way, this is our beach access. Here you can get into the water. Got the little joint joint to clean your legs up. You want to get in? Let's see. There's a lot of fish and there's a lot of sharks in this water. And we saw a needlefish shark. I mean, a needlefish. Needlefish. So I'm kind of scared to get in the water. Would you like to show the people? Do I want to show the people? Yeah, you get it. Let's change positions. My feet are burning. These people over there, they've been flicking it up for at least an hour and a half at this point. All right, babe's getting in. Your pants are soaked. Sorry. Yes. I, guess the water got I didn't know you was going to get all the way in. But yeah, that's our quick little room tour. It's so beautiful here. It's extremely hot, I will say that. But normally over here, there's always like a bunch of little fish around here. And I wish that we can find the little reef shark so we can get it on camera. Oh, wow, what the time get hot, did it get hot. Look at the little beaches disappearing. Oh yeah. That too. Oh, look, they got the thing that you bought. Yep. They're getting good for This will go out there tomorrow since they got it on top. Alright, I guess I gotta let these things out there. Last night we had we had about nine drinks. I had ten. Too many. Ten or eleven. I had a lot of drinks, and they keep on flowing. They are not shy. We went to all inclusives before where they kind of shy with the drinks and with the lick a little bit. They kind of water down out here. First of all, we had too many drinks yesterday. I don't even remember what time we went to sleep. But we slept good, and then today we took a four hour nap. So we basically slept our whole day away today, which is why we've been in my egg, because we took a four hour nap today. Yeah, we crashed today. We thought we were going to crash yesterday after we got here, and no, we crashed today. After breakfast, uh, the sun beat us down. We had a nice little walk after breakfast in the middle of the sun and uh, we crashed and then we got up, came out to eat and drink. And here we are. Tomorrow we're definitely gonna go in the water. We haven't been in the water yet, so tomorrow we're planning on doing the beach. We're probably gonna be more down tomorrow we've because been, that sun is gonna beat our ass. We've been in water a little bit. We we still didn't, the water. You still didn't get outside the room. I went in the room there twice. Once to get the bonnet that you dropped in the water. Oh yeah, I didn't tell them. So I had a bonnet on and I took my bonnet off outside and the wind was blowing so my bonnet flew into the water. It scared me so bad because I didn't know what it was. And then he went and got the bonnet out the water. But our water near, near um, our little house, there was reef sharks in there. It's not really a bungalow, it's a villa. Bungalows look like a straw, right? I mean... 
I think it's just, I don't know. We have reef shark, reef sharks in the water. We saw a needle fish. There's a bunch of school of fish. With those reef sharks, there's a lot of them. And hopefully we'll get some footage of them. Because every time I try to record them, they just be gone. So tomorrow we're definitely going to be in the water. Pool and the beach. Today was a very low tide. It would have been a perfect day to get into the water because the tide was low today. When we first got here, it was a high tide. And the current was very strong. And when we woke up from our nap, the current was strong all over again. There was like some kind of advisory saying not to swim because the current was too strong today after we woke up. So that's crazy because when we first got here, the water was so high. When I woke up this morning, the water was so low, so clear. Low tide was amazing. Yeah, so hopefully tomorrow's a low tide because tomorrow we're definitely going to get in the water. I mean, it happens every day. So I guess it's like the morning. It's the gravitational pull of the moon. The moon pulls water to one side of the planet. So the later it gets, the more the moon pulls the water. Gravity. So when it's early and the moon is on the other side, it's going to the other side of the planet. I know today that I'm not having 10 drinks like I did yesterday, but I woke up, I was hung over this morning. I was hung over. I barely could make it to breakfast. I just knew I was going to throw up. But I pulled myself together. It was a struggle. I felt just fine. I hopped right about the bed. I got up at like 6 a.m. Watched the sunrise. I was on there for a good two hours. I watched versus Timberland versus Swiss. Timberland won by the way. Swiss won the first one, but Timberland got him on this time. This one. They're gonna have to have a repeat to see who takes the crown. But Timberland and his wet clothes wore out Swiss beats. Even though, you know, it's all brotherly love and black love and all that. And two grown men doing the grown man thing. Simple and one day. I heard him opening the door at 6 o'clock this morning to go outside. I wasn't budging. I slept. I woke up at, what, 8.30? Something like that. Got up being loud on the phone. Cause my mom called me. My mom called me. It was 8:30 our time, 11:30 their time, and she calls me like, "Are you in bed? Like, yeah, girl, I was asleep." I hate wearing sunglasses. I don't know why I put them on. I hate everything looking dark. Is that him right there? That's right. Everyone here is so nice, but I can't, you can't remember nobody's name. That's the bad part. They all have name tags. Good for now. I need to take it slow. Last night they kept filling me up. That's why I was so drunk. Oh, brother. I don't know how he can drink so many drinks, but he does not be hungover. I don't get it. I can't keep up with him because I don't want to be hungover. He don't. Get one Only time I got a really bad hangover is in uh, Mexico, but we don't okay, talk about that. Because you had a bad hangover that New Year's, oh. you decided that you were going to go crazy. That's because I mixed everything that I had in the house. You was hungover that day. Yeah. I was just making cocktails that don't exist with liquor that should never be mixed. Um, that hurt. I was out for like a day, but I, I didn't throw up a lot. But uh, Mexico, when I turned into a volcano, never again. I haven't done that since I was like 16, and it won't happen again. I get hangovers, so I'm not fucking You can drink, 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 and be like, oh, I feel fun the next morning. Me, I'm on the struggle bus. But it's not fun. So after this drink, so I've had one, this is my third, right? Because I had two there. Yeah. So this will be my third. The best one. I'm taking it slow. 
my drink has this much in it. They will come by like, we need another one? I was like, no, not right now. They just want to keep you in your nose. about to go to bed and then we both decided damn we're hungry we are really hungry so we're going to the 24-hour sports bar at the other place because we're at the palace we have to go all the way down to go to the atoll what's Which, the difference again between the difference uh so the palace has nicer over water bungalows but just nicer rooms period and uh it's on a completely different island so it's two islands and they're literally connected by this bridge with all of these bungalows on them. And the only thing that connects them is this concrete bridge with the beautiful lights. And we're gonna go walk to the other island and get something to eat. Yeah, because I'm hungry. We keep eating dinner mad early. Like today we ate dinner as soon as they opened at 6.30. And then I guess we thought we would be asleep, but we were still awake, so. That's you. You always want to go to bed early. I wanted to drink, 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 and keep staying there till like drink, midnight. We did drink, drink, drink. Yeah, and I was ready to keep going. Anyway, we're going to the sports bar. We're going to get some food. I don't know what kind of food they got, but I hope it's good. Started. Are you gonna get a drink over there? Of course. All right, guys. I'll see you when we get there. So we made it to the sports bar. We thought we was gonna get some good food, but they literally had a cold patty and a bun. Some and these little tiny sandwiches. Little slices of watermelon. I'm not eating that. So whenever I'm hungry at night, I just gotta sleep it off and I just gotta eat breakfast in the morning. But he's gotta have a whole drink on an empty stomach, so now you're gonna be drunk all over again with no food. You know me. Oh wait, where's the store? The store probably has snacks. Oh, why don't bring my money? You didn't. And we got a long walk back to the room. I'm so sticky. Just from being outside that little bit, it's so humid out here. But, yeah. All right. It's a bummer. Well, not a total washout. I'll have a drink, even though she's not gonna have anything, so. Here's my old fashioned complimentary peanuts. And she's not drinking nothing. How do you feel? They're putting that bean bag. I was gonna say, where do we. Oh, so the beach chairs over there. There's a lot of hermit crabs and ghost crabs in the scene. We just got out the water. There's so many fish in that water, and I do not like fish touching me, but they didn't touch me, but there's so many fish in there. The water felt great. And after the beach, I guess we're gonna go in the pool for a bit. 
it. The bar doesn't open until 10. Probably get back in the water. Today is going to be a beach and pool day. So. Hello. No, you guys are fine. <laughs> he went to go get us some towels, so maybe we're going to come back. He was snorkeling. I haven't snorkeled yet. So, but I'll, I will snorkel later. And he forgot to get the, um, the underwater camera so that we can show you guys the fish. But we'll make sure that we get that tomorrow so that you can see all the beautiful fish in here. We have sharks near our room. Um, I keep forgetting to get that on camera, but I'm going to try to get some footage of the sharks. It shouldn't be hard because I've seen them a lot today. Um, they're just like black tip reef sharks, so they're very harmless. They're not harmless at all. As soon as Jay got into the water, that shark took off. Like, nope. So yeah, they're more afraid of us. And as long as you don't touch them, they're not going to bother you. And I don't know why anyone would want to touch them. Here he comes with the tails. They were watching me when I was on the thing. They were just standing there and I was like, I hope they don't think I'm about to get off. And then they walked all the way down there and I guess they seen that I was off and came back. What's up, y'all? stayed around the, the hammock, but it was deep enough for me to, you know, put my face in there with my goggles and stuff, and I saw a lot of fish. I was surrounded by a school of fish, but there were a lot of different types of fish down there. Um, there were a lot of coral, and there were some fish that were the same color as the coral hiding in the coral. There was striped fish, black fish, clear fish, bunch of different pieces of fish and just fun to look at and just have my whole body uh, in the water. The current is not super strong but it was taking me all the way down the beach just without moving and uh, it was pretty relaxing just a, like a lazy river situation. Just lazy with my face down there. there and looking at all the fish. Gotta go back. I didn't bring my waterproof camera and I'm a little sad about it. So I'm gonna get that later and go back and get some good footage of the fish in this beautiful, beautiful place. Yep, so let's see, this is the water again. Let me turn you guys around. Um, ghost crabs like when you're walking you just randomly see them run past your feet and they're so small and I watched one of them go into the hole but I hope I don't step on any of them because there's tons of them everywhere on the sand and they just blending in with the freaking with sand so
taking my time in the mirror I ain't know what backwards If I see it clear My record out there dies So I do Hey guys So right now it's like midnight We didn't really bring you guys along with us today While we went to the bar They played They did like karaoke and then we went back because there's like two islands here. So if you go to the. I'm so sorry. I'm so drunk right now. Okay. So there's two islands here. We have the Ryu Palace Atoll, which is on the left side. And then we have the Ryu Palace Maldives, which is on the left side. So we're in the palace right. on the left. Left you or said, right? You said left. Oh, I'm sorry. The left is the atoll, the, the right is the palace, we're on the right. So today we actually went to the left to see what they were doing at the atoll. They did karaoke, it was cool, we had like a few drinks over there. But normally we stay over on the right side, which is where we're at on the palace, where the drinks is like lit. But our favorite bartenders apparently are from Sri Lanka. So a lot of the people that work here are from Sri Lanka. Or, or not Thailand, Thailand. Uh, Philippines. Philippines. So Sri Lanka from the Maldives is like an hour and a half flight. So we met Tori and I think the other guy's name is Lanchi. I can't remember, but Tori was determined to get us drunk. First of all, we was already like, we're done. We're done, we're drunk. He was like, no, have one more, have one more. I'm like, no, 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 no. Take it back to the room. Even when we tried to leave, he was like, no, 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 no. You gotta get your drink, take it back to the room. So, I don't know why he wanted us to get us drunk, but we're we're lit. Um, but we had so much fun talking to them. They're so nice, people here are so nice. And he told me that we need to go to Sri Lanka. So, maybe we need to go to Sri Lanka. That's another long flight. Ooh. That's another. Oh my god, I'm keep zooming in. Sri Lanka is an hour and a half from the mall. <laughs> it's not gonna stop running all night because you fussed them white. That's not why. It is why. Why are you recording me? I'm not recording. What's that like? Oh. So the the guy from the Sri from Sri Lanka told us that we need to go to Sri Lanka next. Sri Lanka from the Maldives is an hour and a half flight. So from Dallas to Sri Lanka is 19 hours, 40 minutes. I just... One hour, 50 minute layover in Qatar. And it's $1,200 a ticket. I just know that I'm going to be so hungover tomorrow. Because I'm so lit. I feel like most of the times that all inclusive, they give you this little bit of alcohol. But here, their goal is to get you lit. I don't know if you, because they don't drink here. If you guys didn't know, in the Maldives, it's, um, alcohol is banned. So they only have alcohol in the resorts. I don't know if they don't know how to make drinks, but the drinks here are so strong. Well, they know what they're doing. And we kept telling him, like, no more, no more, we're done, we're done. And he was like, no, you gotta drink again, you gotta drink some more. <sighs> Maybe $40 a night. Oh, shit. Talk to the people. Uh, I'm lit. I'm having a blast. The drinks are great. And yeah, that's all I got. So we will talk to you guys tomorrow. I hope that tomorrow I'm alive because I'm so drunk. I hate being super drunk. I know what my limit is and I hit my limit, but I was forced to drink another drink by his name. The guy's name is Tori. Tori, we're gonna have him on our channel on Thursday. Thursday, because he said he's off tomorrow. He said tomorrow he's sleeping all day. I was like, you're not gonna come to the beach? He said, I'll come to the beach at 5 p.m. He said, it's too hot. He said he's from Sri Lanka. From Sri Lanka. He don't do the heat. So, yeah, so we try to get him on the channel on Thursday. The other guy that we really like is Lanchi. And, and Manchi. We like Lanchi and Manchi. Manchi's from the Philippines, and Lanchi is from Sri Lanka as well. So we'll get them on the channel tomorrow. 
I'm lit, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Screw <clears> that. <throat>